I win the game. Oh yeah. I am finally, like, done. Just done. Not in a bad way, in a good way. So, this is me doing this video on my Nokia Lumia, only because I don't have the H70 nearby to record this. I probably should have done that. Um, this is my NEC Multispeed HD that I picked up for 20 bucks off of Craigslist. I had to go all the way down to Brick, New Jersey to pick it up, and it was sitting, this guy's had it up on Craigslist for a little while, so I kind of just sent him a text, and I said, hey, sure, hey, can I uh, pick this up, because it's still available, and he said, yeah, sure it is, as long as you're willing to drive down to Brick, and she, I said where I was, and he said he was, he was in Brick, am I still interested, so I got back to him on uh, the morning of Monday, and I sent him a text saying that I was going to go and pick it up, and uh, around four o'clock ish okay great so i got to ride along with my brother and uh we took the trip down the parkway down the brick and we picked it up from the guy uh at the wawa which is like off of exit 92 or 93 right there in brick and then we got hopped right back on the parkway after i took a look at it uh, uh sideways i uh, gave the guy 20 bucks and we were on our way so i got it home uh it turns out the hard drive's dead or close to it. I'm going to be taking a look closer look at the controller card a little later on. It's a JVC hard drive and it has a very weird 20 something pin connector. So I might be getting one that does work out of a uh, track 286 luggable. So I may just still be in this after all and be okay. I have to see for a fact, though, if that is the case. Um, I'm waiting to hear back. This is going to be coming from uh, my good friend uh, Mike in Missouri. So I'm not sure if shipping charges are going to be involved in that, but they probably will be. Um, here's the help information thing. Welcome to the NEC Multispeed HD. It has the whole thing about built-in programs and stuff. And if I press the space button, I can go next. It tells you all about the built-in programs, like Notepad and the setup thing, which gives you all the information. This is like the BIOS setup sort of thing. Uh, sorry, the pop quote. Yeah, all this, this stuff. I already uh, copied the disk, and I'm actually running off of a, uh, a disk that I copied. So... That's my uh, disc right here. My desk is still a mess. Okay. Resume. Japanese power PC. <laughs> Excuse me while I type a reply. So, I'm actually typing in the Geek Group's IRC channel right now, and they are awesome people, and you should probably, probably uh, go and join them if you are intellectual in any sort of, uh, in, in really, at any means of intellect, intellect, uh, blah, 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 if you have intellect in any, any sort of subject that you feel would be more, most benefited to be shared with others. If you want to share your intellect with other people about stuff, this is pretty much where you need to be, and that's the Geek Group's IRC channel. Oh, yeah, they did those two. Yeah, they did. They did them in a big way. Mine's still a little crufty and uh, yellowed in spots. I'm probably going to have to get some simple green and uh, let it soak in some, some places and it's definitely going to be some areas, like, I'm going to have to pull off all the keycaps. The keys are actually, um, White Alps.
and the keys that have LEDs have a little red LED in them. So that's neato. Those are the only two. It's the next T keyboard layout, so control is next to A. Um, laughably, like a friend of mine in Ontario would say, like God and man intended it to be, which really isn't the case. Uh, standard PC uh, AT keyboard layout is best keyboard layout. Thank you very much. It's only on laptops that I have the same sort of saying uh, control should be at the bottom left of the keyboard like God and man intended it to be. If you have an FN key at the bottom left end corner of your keyboard, you have a bad keyboard. That is one of the nitpicks that I have for laptop PC keyboards is where is the control key? Is it at the bottom left? Good. Does the trackpad have separate mouse buttons that aren't built into a stupid click pad? Yes? Good. Are the buttons uh, using two separate pieces of plastic? Yes? Good. And then we get into other small nitpicks from there on. It's just those three that I look for in laptops. Um, it has a uh, monochrome sort of, I think it's like a 4-bit display. Or it might be a 4-bit, or an, I don't think it's 8-bit, I think it's a 4-bit um, monochrome CGA or EGA or VGA, so uh, CGA probably uh, screen. Ugh, I'm yawning in every single video now. Sorry, it's like, it's it's midnight. So you just got to bear with me. Uh, it's like a monochrome CGA or EGA screen or something like along those lines. And it is backlit with a, what, what the hell's the word for it? Electroluminescent uh, sort of backlight like you'd have on a, uh, on one of those um, watches with the, with the glow light. It's same sort of technology, just on a bigger scale. That's actually pretty good. It also apparently doesn't use too much power. So if I were to hook this up to, say, well, right now the, the AC adapter here says the output is 13.5 volts at 2 amps. This thing only really needs 2 amps to run at 13 volts. That's not too bad. Uh, that's about, let's see, 13.5, so that's about 27 watts maximum when you think about it. I don't know how much wattage it takes to put out the 27 watts. But it's rather efficient in what it was for the day. So I could hook this up to a UPS by itself just fine and use this if I so chose to. There's also a, a pop-up button here on the, on the keyboard. And then there's the help button that brings up that menu. If I hold the pop-up button down brings up a menu here so this is uh, menu 1.03 for the HD and I can go down here using the arrow keys on the numpad up here and there's help which is additional help and then there's all these different programs here so I'm just going to click the menu and remove my text here so that's pretty much it let's see if I can uh, this um it also doesn't uh Break real easy. This is IRC Junior by uh, Mike Brutman. So Brutman, Brutman. I don't know how to exactly say your name. So if you do come across this video and you're actually seeing this, um, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm looking over here on the other screen here, which, which has the same exact uh, channel open. And it looks like I don't have IRC set to show um, nick changes and quits or joins. Well, joins, yes, but quits, no. So I'm going to have to take a look into that and fix that. 
Um, that's a configuration setting within the um, the tcp.cfg file. So once I get that all taken care of, then we'll be in a much better boat as far as usability is concerned. I have very strict parameters for my uh, IRC client. So with that aside, that is, that really concludes the video that I can, you know, all that I can show for this right now. God, the yellowing looks so bad in, on the camera. I assure you it's not actually this bad in real life. It's just the camera overdoing it. The, the lighting is horrible down here, and it's actually, I think it's doing, um, let's see, there we go. If I put my thing down here, it changes to 4 and that's, see that right there? Come on, right there. That's the actual color it should be with the fluorescent light. That's just making it look really, really yellow, and it's not actually that yellow. It's just a bit that color, but just not really. Oh, yeah, focus. That is a nice red color. Oh, so, so nice. There we go. Okay, that's enough playing around. So, I'm going to shut this camera off now, and I'm going to try to post this up on YouTube when I get a chance, which will probably be before I go to bed tonight. So, you should be seeing this sometime during the morning or afternoon of Wednesday, February 25th, 2015. Or if you're just happening to view this just by looking around for any information on this particular laptop, well, I own one. So if you want any information, please feel free to leave a comment below. You see, there's these comment things down below here, below this section that says video description that nobody reads. And everybody goes past that and reads everything that's in this comment section down here. And I don't get why nobody reads the video descriptions anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, yeah, if you leave a comment down below about if you want information or uh, questions about this, let me know. Um, I'm using a Zircon Pocket Ethernet 3 uh, that I recently just made a video about just before I uh, made this video. So... You should be seeing that. I'm not using the multiplexer, but I am using the DOS package driver, and this is, again, on top of DOS 